Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a makeup tutorial for you guys, another spring makeup tutorial. And I have a lot, I wouldn't say a lot, but I have several different makeup looks that are my favorite for spring. But this is my favorite spring makeup look when I want something that is a little bit more done up, but it's not like full on full glam. It's just more of a soft glam look for spring. Recently, I asked you guys on Instagram, on my Instagram stories, what videos that you would like to see me film. I just want to thank each one of you who participated and this was one of the videos that you guys requested. So yeah, go follow me over on Instagram. But if you would like to see how to do my favorite look for spring, then just keep on watching. So off camera, I went ahead and did my skincare routine. And you guys know that these are the two products that I use every single day. So I will list them down below for you guys. And if you're curious about my nails, they are these Kiss Gel Fantasies. And I don't, <clears throat> I don't know. I think the color is called No Pressure. But they're like an iridescent white. I have just been loving these types of glue-on nails for a while now. And I feel like these are really good, especially with nail salons being closed and stuff like that. So you can just... Do your nails at home so um yeah i'll link those down below if i can find them online and then i think first i'm gonna do my eyeshadow i know normally with this look i don't tend to have a lot of fallout but i just like to do my eyeshadow first and i'm just gonna prime my eyelids with this believe beauty lock it in eyeshadow primer and this is the shade universal I'm just gonna blend that all just put it all over my eyelid blend it out and if you hear some noises peps is laying in the chair underneath my desk she was laying in the chair that I'm sitting in but I had to get in this chair to film so I had to made I had to make her move I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This is just one of my very favorite palettes to use in the spring. And like I told you guys in the intro, this is one of my favorite spring makeup looks to do. Like when I want my look to be more glam. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with the shade. <laughs> She's playing with one of these nails that fell out of that package and it's on the ground. Um, I'm going to go in with a shade called Georgia. And I'm just going to put that in my crease with my Morphe M433 brush. It's just a really pretty peach shade. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use this shade called White Peach. On my lid, I'm going to use this shade called Luscious. And I'm just packing that color on with my Jane Ardell Deluxe Shader Brush. I find that this look is really quick to do as well. I don't know, maybe it's because it's like one of my go-to spring looks, so I have it, the technique, down. Next, I'm going to use this shade Charmed, I'm sure. Just flipped the brush over, and I'm going to pack that color just kind of on the last third of my eyelid. Then I just grab some more of that color on the Sigma E25 Blending. And I'm just going to blend that color in the outer V. And 
And I just got some more of that color on my Morphe M506. Just trying to be a little bit more precise with the placement. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more Georgia and then just go back, blend the crease out, and just blend the edges of everything. And my skin's feeling a little dry today, so I think I'm going to go in with this First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer stuff. And I'm just going to apply that all over. This stuff smells so good. It smells like coconuts. I know I say that every time I use this product, but it's like I forget how good it smells. And this has a little bit of a luminous finish to it, so it's just gonna give your skin a little bit of a luminous glow. And then for my foundation, I'm just gonna be using my Revlon Color Stay. And this is just my go-to foundation. Somehow I got like a bunch of dark eyeshadow all over my top that I'm wearing today. And I have no idea how that happened because it happened before I even sat down to film. So I don't know, I'm not sure how I got that on there. So today is Saturday and like I told you guys, I have just been so inspired to film videos for you guys. And I mean, I'm not going anywhere. We're still staying like at home during the weekend. Um, I don't know if by the time this video is out, if maybe some places will be opening back up again. Um, I know our governor was talking about working with some other Midwestern governors to start the process of reopening things, but they have to go through a certain phase and there has to be like a drop in cases, I think for like 14 days. Um, but for those of you guys who don't know, I live in Kentucky, so I don't know. So I feel like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel with things. Um, I feel like we're definitely past the peak of everything and things are starting to drop off in cases. Um, I mean, there's definitely still people being diagnosed with um, the coronavirus, but I feel like it's not as bad as it was the week before. So things are starting to look a little bit better. And I will say in our state, compared to a lot of the other mid Midwestern states, we're not doing too bad, like with cases and deaths and things like that. So that's really good. But I mean, we still have quite a few, but just not as much as other places. But anyhow, like I got totally sidetracked there, but I asked you guys on Instagram to let me know what videos you would like to see me film. And today is one of those videos. Um, I had you, somebody recommended that I do my favorite spring makeup look and then you guys voted on it and that one got a lot of votes. So I thought I would go ahead and film that one today. And then I want to film another video today, and I know this was another um, requested video, but this was also a video I wanted to film prior to even asking you guys, you know, what you all would like to see. And that is my eyeshadow palette collection. And I know that that video didn't get a lot of... I mean, it did get yeses, like where you guys wanted to see it, but it didn't have as many yeses as some of my other vid or some of the other videos that you guys requested on Instagram. Um, but I wanted to film that video because I want you all to see what palettes I have because I want to start doing a series on my channel where. I um, focus on one eyeshadow palette during that month and do like four different get ready with me's with that palette and then you know the next month move on to another palette but I want to show you guys my collection so that you can tell me like your top anywhere from your top five to top ten 
from what I have in my collection that you would like to see me focus on each month. Um, and I want to kind of compare what everybody is picking and pick like the top five most requested ones at least to start out and then just kind of go from there just to see how good the series goes um because i know you guys like to see a lot of different ways to use the same palette and i haven't been trying to buy a lot of makeup recently like i am gonna order some things from the sephora vib rouge sale it actually started yesterday. Today, I think is the 18th of April. Yeah, the 18th. So I think after I get done filming these videos, I'm going to call mom and we're going to place an order together. Um, I don't know. I know some things that I want to get and it's going to be mostly things that I use all the time. Like I'm not planning on getting a lot of new things from Sephora, but like I just haven't been wanting to buy a ton of makeup so I've just been using what I have in my collection so I think that that series where I just focus on one palette in the month will be really beneficial not only to you guys but to me as well and it'll help to keep things interesting for me so yeah definitely keep an eye out for my eyeshadow palette collection so you guys can let me know what you want to see in the future get ready with me videos like like I was saying, where I focus on one palette in the month. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Sorry. Um, for my concealer, I use the Revlon Candid Concealer. And then I'm going to go ahead and set everything with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable. My Super Blendable Powder. So, some of the things I know that I'm going to get from Sephora, I want to get some more of these Dior lip glows oh my gosh because i have just been so obsessed with this color in berry and i completely used up this one in pink which i need to put this in my beauty empties i just it's got like just a little bit left in it um and there's some other shades that they have in those that i would like to get like a coral one and i don't know i'll have to look at some of the other ones but yeah so i want to get a couple of those i might get another one of the pink ones that i just ran out of um, probably will get some more Urban Decay, whoops, my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Probably get some more of that and some more of my skincare stuff. And then I'll have to look through my collection to see if there's any other things that I use on a regular basis that I'm about to run out of um, to get from the sill. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And then I will come back and I'm just going to be using my Benefit Cabral and my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is another thing I need to get from the sale because that is really running low and I use that every single day. So, um, yeah, let me do that and I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lip product and this is one of my favorite just lip products to use in the spring and the summer. I mean, really all year round, but I love this shade for the spring. And this is one of the Wet n Wild Partner Up Lip Balm Sticks from their Pump Collection. And this is in the color Peach Boot Camp. And I know that Wet n Wild still sells these. At least I've seen them at CVS. So go there, because I think you would be able to find it at CVS. but it's just a nice peach tinted lip balm and it's just so moisturizing and no fuss and lightweight so just love that now for my bronzer i'm going to be using the l'oreal true match lumi bronze it this is one of my favorite bronzers to use in the winter and in the spring just because it has a nice glow and i'm just going to be using the morphe m437 to apply this bronzer but yeah, this look, I just love it. It makes me just so excited for summer. I don't know, I just love this look. And today the weather has been cold outside, but it's been really sunny. So I just, it makes me happy for the sun to be out, especially like on my weekend days. I hate it when it's just like rainy and 
drab out, especially with just everything that's going on where we can't really do anything. So maybe later this afternoon, if it warms up some more, I might go for a walk outside. But I don't think it's supposed to get very warm today. Like it's only, I think like 40 something. Well, my phone says it's 51, so I guess it is warming up a little bit, but still 51 is chilly, I feel like. It's gotta be like 65 plus for it to feel warm out for me. And 65 can feel cold, especially if it's windy and not sunny out, so. But yeah, the weather's been so beautiful today, and the cats went out earlier this morning and played outside. And then they've just come in and just been lazy. Oh, I guess Peps got down. She was in that chair and then she got down and was playing with that false, or the fingernail thing. And then she went out of the room. And then I don't even know where Salem's at. Like, I guess he's laying somewhere, probably downstairs downstairs with Josh, because Josh is playing video games. Um, he worked on some schoolwork earlier this morning. And then I've been kind of doing some laundry, some straightening up of the house. And then I, also this morning I edited a couple of YouTube videos and I'm getting things like scheduled and ready to go this week. I feel like I'm going to be able to start to get on a schedule soon. So I know that's exciting news for you guys. Because um, I know so many of you guys have been missing like regular posting from me. So... I'm not going to be posting three videos a week. I'm just going to be posting two. And I think the plan right now for me is to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But we'll see. Maybe Tuesdays and Fridays. I think I'm definitely going to be posting on Tuesdays. But I'll have to figure out the other day. So for my blush, one of my very favorite spring blushes is this one from Milani in the color Luminoso. It's just been a long 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 time favorite probably like, probably like five plus years it's been a favorite and that was another video idea I had was to film a video on makeup products that I've liked for over five years or like five plus years so let me know down in the comments if that is a video you guys would be interested in seeing um, for my highlight, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. But I always find that interesting, like, you know, people's favorites that they have liked for a really long time. Because you know, like, those are really good products if they've liked them for over five years. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to see that video. And then this highlight, I mean, this is a year-round favorite, but... I just think it pairs so nice with that Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, like the tone of this. I don't know, it's just beautiful. I love how bright it is, like just how intense the highlight is. It's just beautiful. I love a good intense highlight for spring. It just gives your face, like it gives your makeup look just a really fresh look. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of this Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to go back to the Sweet Peach palette. And another thing I want to accomplish today is wash my makeup brushes because since this week I have been experimenting with more, you know, makeup looks and things like that. My makeup brushes are dirty and I need to wash them. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to grab some more of Georgia and I'm just going to smudge that with my Sigma Pencil E30. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of Charmed, I'm sure, which is the dark brown. Okay, and then before I do my mascara, I am going to go ahead and mist my face. And I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Jungle Rock 
from Bretman Rock, that collection. And this is an illuminating makeup setting spray. I have been in love with this. I know that this is probably not so easy to find right now, but if you can get your hands on it, highly recommend if you like illuminating setting sprays. Or anything that smells good, like tropical flowers and coconut because that's what this smells like. It smells so good. I also really like the packaging on this. I think it's really pretty. So I'm just gonna let that dry before I go in with my mascara. Then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes up with my Tarte Eyelash Curler. You could put eyeliner on with this look, but I just really like the way it looks without eyeliner because it makes it look more like fresh and I don't know, just like simple and pretty. And then for my mascara, I'm just using the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock Mascara. So I'm just gonna put several coats of that on my upper and lower lashes. So that is my favorite spring makeup look completed. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you would like to see from me. And if you are new and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and make sure that you guys turn, like click the notification bell so you will know as soon as I post a new video. But I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.